Hey guys, I'm Sean Hammond with PremierGuitar.com. We're at Winter NAM 2014 at Line 6 talking to Paul about the new Amplify amps. Paul, tell yeah. us about them. Yeah, well it's an exciting time for us. It's a brand new guitar amplifier and we're saying it's the guitar amplifier reinvented. And it really is a different kind of product altogether. What we have here, we have a high performance guitar amplifier. Uses, it has a five speaker stereo system in there. And we have a wet dry mix there as well, which is really interesting to me as a guitar player. It means the center, the 12 inch Celestion that we're using in the center is dry and we have actually have all the effects out to the two stereo the dual concentric speakers either side. So a great guitar amplifier that you can take out and gig with, you can use and practice in the, in, in the house. As well as that, we have an incredible Bluetooth speaker system there. We think is the best one on the market, certainly for the, certainly for the price, it really does sound incredible and it's, it's a very, very loud system as well. And the third thing we have on there is an iOS app. Now that iOS app will not only allow you to dial in your own sounds, but what it'll also do is actually for everything that's in your iTunes library, and it'll import your iTunes library on, and your playlists, it'll then go to the Line 6 Tone Cloud and download the appropriate tones for that song. And that's an on, that's, that library's growing and, or will be growing and growing all the time, you know, so. Do you know how many songs roughly are in the library right now? The library right now has 7,000 tones. Uh, which has been sort of accumulated from the um, previous Line 6 products like the, from the Custom Tone website. But obviously this, this product was just released yesterday, so we're expecting a bit of a, an explosion in those tones when people realize how easy it is to just quickly publish those tones. Now, how many speakers total? Five? F five speakers, yeah. So, so one 12-inch Celestion, is it a, a custom model for you guys? It is, It is. yeah, yeah. Custom 12-inch uh, Celestion, we have a 75-watt version of the amplifier as well. And that has just a custom seven inch speaker speaker in there. And then either side here, we actually have the sort of dual concentric sort of speakers, which are here and here. And how big are those? There's like little tweeter style? Yeah. Okay, yeah. and then three for the Bluetooth audio. What sort of speakers are those? It's, well, it's all coming through the same, it's all coming through the same speakers. So it's full range Bluetooth, full range flat response cabinet, yeah. But it uses clever Line 6 DSP, which has come from the, the Stagescape system that we do with the L2s. And that's, so there's a, there's a lot of clever Line 6 DSP going on there to make it sound great. Okay, so why don't you walk us through the controls and how everything works? Yeah, okay. So it's, obviously there's a bunch of in interesting things here. First of all, the design of the unit is meant to look so it's not out of place in a, somebody's front room. Um, the Bluetooth speaker aspect means that you could use it for watching YouTube videos. You can say you can stream your iTunes library from it. You can watch a games console or listen to a games console through that. And let's say it really does sound incredible for that kind of thing. On the top of the amplifier, we find that we've got you know familiar amp controls. So we've got drive, bass, middle, treble. We've got an effect mix there. And straight from the factory, we give you four different tones as well, like a range of a good range for getting out and just going to a gig and you know some clean sounds, some overdrive sounds, that kind of thing. Um, top of here we've got the Bluetooth, which is the Bluetooth pairing, um, and then we have the iOS, the iOS episode. It'll stream audio from any Bluetooth device, but it needs to be an iOS device to actually use the app where it's going to download from the Tone Cloud, yeah. Now talk a little bit about the dual function knob here. Yeah, well if you're going to play along with, the idea f behind this product is that you can very quickly and easily make the best use of your practice time. If you want to plug in and get great tones and you only have 15 minutes to play, you don't necessarily want to be moving pedals around, changing batteries, different cables, all, all that kind of thing. You want to be plugged straight in, into something that's sitting in the, in the, in the front room. So, it's got a push button here. The white uh, indicators indicate how much the mix of the guitar is. If I press it again, that's the overall master volume for the amplifier. So you can very, very quickly, if you download a tone and it's a little bit quiet, one button pressing that, turn it up, and you're actually blending in your guitar mixer. And you can also record, do that via the app as well. Okay, now let's go back to the tones a little bit. Now, say you have a track in your iTunes that is um, really complicated with a lot of different crazy effects, like whammy or really long delay or just anything out there, ring modulator or whatever, do the tones in the library have that kind of stuff? Yeah, well in, in the actual, depends on if somebody's programmed in the tone library, but theoretically, I mean if we go to the actual editor on here, if you wanted to create your own tones, saying it wasn't already in that, that sound card library. We have 70 different guitar amplifiers, we have 20 different cabinets, and we have 100 different effects there. So if you wanted to go in and you can see that graphically, it's a very nice sort of friendly system to use, looks good, I'm always a sucker for graphics on products. So <laughs> you can quickly go in there, I can choose a Plexi amplifier, I can choose, let me just go and just try and do this from here. Got a whole bunch of different guitar cabinets. Maybe choose a different sort of 412. I've got eight different effects that I can run and I can move those chains around as well. So if I want to go for some of the more uh, crazy effects like the, that you were suggesting there, again, I've got a whole bunch of stomp pedals. Um, 
I've got my filters. So basically a case right. of selecting all those. And I can have multiples of those effects as well. So I can have multiple different sort of stomp pedals. I can move the signal chain around as well. So if I want to put one of those filters after the amplifier or drag a delay and put it in front of the amplifier, I've got complete sort of, you know, so it's a, That's you're, really you're, cool. You're, yeah, you're not just limited to the tones that are in the sort of the cloud already. You can get in there and you can dial in your own sounds. And, and as you can see, it can be it can be pretty complex if it needs to be. Cool. Well, let's hear a couple more samples. Is that all right? Yeah, sure. I mean, I have a bunch of tones that I kind of did just before I got to the show. So um, let's dial in a couple of a couple of these. I'm enough here. Let's go. <laughs> So tell us what we're hearing there. On well, this here we're hearing a, I believe when I programmed it in, it's the it's that Plexi 1965 Plexi running through the four running through a 412, and I have a Chandler tube drive pedal on the front end there, just running with a little bit of delay and a little bit of reverb. Yeah. And you have a track that goes along with this? Uh, no, I mean the the. Well, I can do yeah, but I mean the next thing to really talk about is the idea of just downloading sounds from this from this tone cloud. Um, so if I stick a track on, what I can do is actually put that track on, it'll look at via Wi-Fi, it'll download then download the tone that we need for that. So that's probably a better way of approaching approaching that, yeah. Okay. So, so I'm gonna go in here. You'll see that it's imported all my iTunes library and the playlists. So now if I go to this, I've actually got a bunch of tracks here that automatically will download the sound and it'll actually search online. So let's just use a track maybe by a band that I play with as we have the license for that. You broke your iPad, man. <laughs> just kidding. So it's 300 foot gorilla. <laughs> 300 foot gorilla, yeah. And we can see there, it's, it's actually downloaded a bunch of like three different sounds there that I kind of put in. So, so it's using metadata to, to, to do that. I've been told not to say metadata because the Geordie accent apparently sounds funny. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you want well, me to hit play? Well, you... not to say metadata. Okay, yeah, so I'll just take that track to the start. And this is where it's downloading the sounds from the tone cloud. So these tones currently aren't in my iPad. This is getting the, downloading those tones now as we play. So. Now this, the fact that that's your own band brings in an interesting perspective because you were there for that. I, I mean, assuming you didn't replace another guitarist in the band no. <laughs> when they recorded no, it. No, so I, I take every full responsibility for that. <laughs> so when you recorded that, what did you use? Well, when I recorded that, I used um, Line 6 DT25. Mm -hmm. um, and we mic'd that up in, the, in a studio um, back, in, back in Newcastle. Um, so yeah, there's a, and there's a bunch of other stuff in there. I think it's the HD 500 that we used as well. I mean, I've been using Line 6 gear for a long time, and I am, I'm, a, I'm a believer. So the tone that you downloaded to play along with this, is it a model of the DT25 and the, uh, the other stuff you used? It's kind of, that tone there for that track was um, based on a sort of Marshall Plexi sound. Um, which I also have. I had a Marshall Plexi when I recorded it, but I really like the sound of the DT, the DT amplifier, and I really like the way the DT amplifier. I could have that Marshall Plexi sound, but switch it over to a Class A, Class A sound. So that's one of the reasons. That's one of the ways I use the tone for that. Um, when I recreated on here, I dialed in a Marks, uh, the Plexi sound. I, I went for the 412 and tried to get as close to that tone as I as I possibly could. Cool, that's a cool perspective. So where can people go online to find out more about this? At line6.com, and there's actually a micro site um, attached to that, which has like, all of the amplified details on there as well. Okay. Now, remind us of the prices, because that's one of the cool things, is these are quite affordable. They certainly are. Now, I'm not exactly the best guy to speak uh, to I on prices. Mark <laughs> earlier was saying that it's, it's $4.99 for this 150-watt yeah, version and $3.99 right. for the 75-watt. I believe that to be right. That's what I was about. Sweet. That's what I was about. What is that in euros or pounds? Just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, Paul. No Sean Hammond for PremierGuitar.com. Thanks for watching.